Hey, movie fans. Pretty excited to talk to you about the movie event of the summer, really. And, you know, it might even come down to being the movie event of 2020. <laughs> Hamilton on Disney Plus has been such a big deal. I feel like it's all over the news. It's everywhere I look, um, which is, is pretty exciting. And I'm so glad that I finally had the chance to see it after hearing about it now for years. I really liked it, loved the movie. Um, for this review though, we're gonna do something a little different, a little bit revolutionary, you could say. Uh, I'm gonna do a live Rocky's Corner. So we're gonna bring Rocky in now and we're gonna have a little discussion. So, Alrighty. Rocky, how, how's Hamilton? Well, as you can see, I'm wearing my Hamilton shirt right now. Oh, <laughs> I, awesome. I loved, I loved it. And you know, the I, I watched it a couple times. I'll be, I'll be honest on this. And I, oh, nice. oh yeah, and I, I love, I, I loved it. I love the moments that it brought and everything like that. Ah, uh, so fun. So I guess first thing I, I really wanted to talk to you about though was was the hype for this movie. I mean. They call, well, this, this show, this play, they refer to it as a cultural phenomenon. Um, what, what would you say about the hype? So I actually, I, had, I was very grateful to be able to watch it on, on when it came to Salt Lake in 2018. And oh my gosh, there was so much hype. Like I went with my high school uh, when I was a drama coach and everybody was so excited to go and it was so cool. And and then when the movie came out, you know, I was so hyped because I don't know if you heard, but it wasn't supposed to come out until October of 2021. And they made the decision to come out now. And I was so excited. You know, everybody on the internet was excited. And then when I watched it, I, I mean, I'll be 100% honest. I was uh, a little more hyped from the musical on the stage. Like to see but, it in person. Yeah, exactly. But I still really enjoyed it, and I, I thought they did an excellent job with it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, and it was going to come to theaters. Like, Disney was planning mm -hmm. on releasing it to the big screen. Do you think it was a good call, then, to, to do the Disney Plus route? Um, honestly, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I feel like a lot of people would go, but I almost feel like it's, it's such a niche, like, where the major, major fans or the theater people that, Maybe the, I think they maybe did, did a good point job with keeping on Disney Plus, and but I, I, they did really great. If, if you've noticed some of the things that have been happening, they've gotten a lot of new subscribers because of Disney Plus. Oh, that's cool. I hadn't I hadn't looked into any of that yet, but it makes sense. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like America was ready for this to happen, so I, I think it was a really good call to give it to us now and. To be able to have it where we can just pull it up and watch it again and oh, you know watch oh, a certain man. clip again so that that's pretty awesome um do you think non-theater people would enjoy it like say i'm not really into musicals or i'm not really into watching stage shows would i still want to see hamilton um so i my wife i actually showed it tomorrow afternoon. she's not really a bunch of a musical person but she really enjoyed it um i feel like my uh, though if you were a non-theater person or and you've not even recognized Hamilton, I would probably watch it multiple times to understand what's going on. Um, but I think, yeah, they would definitely enjoy it. Um, it's, it's a very relevant story that applies to everybody, not just theater goers. Yeah, cool. I love it. And I, I feel like they really wanted it to, I mean, it's two and a half hours long, right? but they wanted it to be something to inspire the study of history, to get people more engaged with the history of our country. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and they totally did that. <laughs> and I, like I said, two and a half hours, you mentioned maybe watching it multiple times, it moves really quickly for a two and a half hour show, doesn't it? I, I Well, Lin-Manuel Miranda, in an interview, if I think I remember, he said that if it was written like a normal musical, it would be six hours long <laughs> because of how much stuff is in it. Yeah, I heard that too. And, and that it even holds a record for the fastest pace, right? With uh, oh, Guns yeah. and Ships, the rap that yeah. 
Diggs does yeah. there and Guns and Ships. And um, well, and even Satisfied, they talked about it being at a very, very fast pace, way faster than a normal, your average musical. So, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I loved how how Lynn wanted it to be that he he had mm -hmm. said that he was reading a, a biography on Hamilton and in the second chapter he knew that he wanted it to be a rap musical. <laughs> yeah, he he knew that Hamilton was was one of the rappers, you know, and he wrote his way out just like any other rapper. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. If you were going to be in Hamilton, what would your dream role be? A hundred percent, Alexander Hamilton. Really. Like oh, yeah. Out. Well, I, and I feel like I've learned a lot from him and I can relate to him the most, which is why, like, he's a guy who has so much ambition, wants to do so much in the world. And then he just realizes, though, hey, I have a family I need to take care of, that even though I can change the world, my family is most important. And, you know, before I got married, and because I've, I've kind of I've talked about that. It's like, I really want to change the world, but, you know, my family is the most important. That's what I need to focus on. And, I feel like I just really relate to him, and I don't know who who doesn't want to be the the young person, the underdog who rises up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton. And there's a million things I haven't done. But just you wait. Just you wait. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, that's fun. Well, well, speaking, well, actually, let me tell you this first, when we were watching it, it was, it was new to me. I, I hadn't listened to the soundtrack, didn't really know the songs, didn't really know the music. The trailers were pretty much all I knew about it. Yeah. And, um, we got to intermission and I, and I turned to my brothers and said, guys, what would your dream role be? Cause I mean, I think the obvious pick would be Alexander Hamilton. You want to be the lead. Yeah. But as I watched it, I was like, holy cow. It'd be so cool to be Aaron Burr. It would be very so cool. cool to be George Washington. Like oh, I just God. felt like there were so many roles that had the spotlight and so many characters that would just, you know, it'd just be such a great part. Oh, yeah. And let me just add Chris Jackson, who played George Washington. I could, I, he's, I couldn't think of nobody else who could play Washington. That guy does such a stellar job in that role. Yeah. Yeah, it blew my mind. I, I didn't even really know he was a character in the play, let alone how big of a part he was. Yeah. Um, I had heard the song, um, It Must Be Nice to Have Washington on Your Side. I had heard that one before, but didn't even click in my mind that he'd be a, a main character in it. And he was just awesome. Um, so that's one thing that really stood out to me that, that Lynn Manuel did such a great job in writing to make so many people be able to have the spotlight and to be a big deal. Um, anything you just want to add on the genius of Lin-Manuel Miranda and what he did to bring, make this play a reality? So I'll be, so one of my favorite genres is rap. And the reason why is because you can so add so much detail compared to song, so much complexity. And Lin-Manuel's right, Manuel's idea to use rap to be able to use so many different words to be able to just say so many different things and mean different things and really also not only that teach good principles where I can really apply to my life like that that's fantastic honestly I could even say it's inspirational of how great that musical was written by Lin-Manuel and it took him over seven years like it took a while like, yeah 2009 um version when he first presented it to the Obamas yeah. Yeah. So that, that right. right. Yeah. When when everybody first saw that, they were like, oh, cool. That's kind of cool. But who's Alexander Hamilton? And now everybody's like, whoa, this is so awesome. Not just a face on a $10 bill anymore, right? <laughs> no, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know a lot more about him. And I loved how you said inspirational because really, just in this last week since watching it, I'm like, hmm, huh, I want to write some songs. 
I want to write a <laughs> play. Like that's so cool. Oh, <laughs> uh, so so does it work for you as a movie, as a movie watcher, as a movie lover? Does the stage version movie work for you? Well, the first thing I kind of want to add with that is when you're on the stage, it's fun. It's great. You can't see anybody's faces. <laughs> right. Like when I watched, I was like, I wish I had binoculars. Um, <laughs> but here you can see what's going on. You can see exactly what's going on. I mean, one thing I really like about theater, though, is when you're sitting there, even though there's somebody in the focus, you can actually look out and see somebody else doing something else. And you can't really do that in a movie. You can only really focus on one thing. It's a really right. a set position. But I really liked how I was able to just zoom in on their faces, see what's going on, really just connect with them versus the stage play. Yeah, yeah. Well, and Thomas Kale, who directed this, I really feel like that was a push. He wanted it to be an up-close, intimate experience, you know? The, those those seats that you could never afford to pay to buy you're getting it with disney plus you know you're gonna see jonathan groff spit as he's singing <laughs> <laughs> yes i did notice that <laughs> there's no way you could miss it right <laughs> oh no heck no but yeah i think that was a key point there uh maybe one of my critiques i actually had of it as a movie was i did want some more of those wide angle shots i I kind of wish I could have seen just occasionally or sporadically even just a more of a wide angle. But like I said, I almost feel like it was a, a real driving force was to be up close and personal throughout it. So that's fun. Well, hey, any advice you'd give to somebody who's like, everyone's talking about Hamilton. I don't know the music. I don't know the story. I what yeah. what should I know going into it if I'm going into a blind? Like, what could be some expectations yeah. you could give them or some advice? So to go I see would them? first say because this has happened. This happened to me when I first listened to it way back in 2017. Is watch it a few times because <laughs> you may not uh, appreciate it fully the first time. Um, I I read somewhere turn the captions on. <laughs> so you yeah. can read what they're saying. You do notice um, I'm wearing a little more that way though, but. <laughs> yeah that's true um but i feel like the really the biggest thing is just it's it's a it's a play for today like learn what it's trying to teach you more than just what Lynn manuel miranda is trying to tell you there's so many things in there that you can learn and apply to your life and really just give it a shot you know don't throw away your shot go lead your man I'll see you on the other side till we meet again Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. Give it a shot. Give it a go. Uh, I'm really glad I did. I I knew it was a rap musical. Um, and in my mind, I guess I just thought it was just going to be hip hop and rap the whole time, which is definitely the overall feel for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's still a Broadway play. Like I really yeah. still felt there was Broadway caliber singing and talent, you know, through the choreography, the costuming the the stage um you've done a little work with lighting before haven't you oh yeah yeah i've done i've qu done quite a bit what would you say about the lighting on the show absolutely beautiful like i honestly if i could explain one way of hamilton it's a very abstract play like it's not very li linear nor is it literal and the lighting is a big evidence of that like it, it like you can see the lighting of like for example the target for the shooting you know square lights it just makes it it drives the point but also at the same time it's not realistic and that's what makes it so cool and here's the piece de resistance no one else was in the room where it happened the room where it happened the room where it happened no one else was in the room where it happened the room where it happened the room where it happened really knows how the game is played the art of the trade how the sausage gets made we just assume that it happens but no one else is in the room where it happened oh i like that i like that a lot i um the song satisfied that was a huge highlight for me um one the song is incredible it's been in my head a lot but just the visual job that they did with it was so cool oh, 
And uh, my wife was actually telling me she was doing some reading that they were inspired by Ratatouille with that scene. I where, did hear that. Yeah. You see that too? Where he eats the Ratatouille and you like go into his mind and it rewinds, you know, mm-hmm. and you can see him and experiencing it. And that's what um, Angelica is doing, right? When she's yep. going through Satisfied. And I love the way the lighting and the, the rotation of the stage, the, that little centerpiece. Yeah. Thing, the Thank you. I knew there was a word for it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just impressive, impressive in so many levels. The writing, the lighting, the man, just the music, the talent is just definitely worth spending the two and a half hours for, I would say. Oh, <laughs> Any yeah. closing thoughts from you, Rocky? Um, just enjoy it. You know, um, I would probably also listen to it many times in the soundtrack. Yeah, it really drilled in because when I when I watched it, I didn't miss a beat because I I've already listened to it so much. That's so, cool. yeah, just get yourself into it and you'll get the most out of it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, well, cool. Thanks for this, man. It's been a great Rocky's Corner. All right. See ya. All right, movie fans. Have a good one.